So we just pushed a new feature with our editor integration, which kind of now comes full circle because we start from your IDE, push it up to CI and integrate it back to your IDE, connect it to an LLM as well to help assist you in this workflow. So let me explain. The whole goal of NX in general uh, is to help you be more productive. We're kind of in that developer productivity space because you work on large code bases where what we try to do is kind of make sure that things are fast, ergonomic to use, and kind of pleasant to work with in general. Now, that also means that you work in your code editor all the time because we're a coding tool, like we assist you while you work on source code. And so for a long time, we had an extension called NX Console. That works for VS Code, Cursor, obviously, and also IntelliJ, which kind of extends that experience again in your editor, provides autocomplete support in config files, it has its own language server, it also provides visual UIs when you scaffold code. But now with the LLM support, specifically the MCP, it became even more valuable. And people love it. Like we are about to approach 2 million downloads, which is like huge. So let me show you what I mean. Now, when you work in the, in the editor, what usually happens, you work on some source code, you work on a feature once you're done, uh, or you want to kind of just kick off a CI run, you push up a PR. Now, this could be GitHub, could be some other provider. But usually what happens as a con consequence of that is it triggers a GitHub action, like a CI run. And this is where our cloud CI product fits in. It can connect to such a CI run, pick up the tasks, and run them as fast as possible via distribution, via task splitting with remote caching, all these features. While this run is, is going, uh, you probably start working on something else because like, it, it easily takes, if it's super fast, like a five minute, 10 minute ish thing on a large workspace. So you just like pivot to something else. But usually what happens is like after an hour or so, you're like, oh, wait a sec, like I had this PR, let me check on it and see whether I can merge it. And then you see it failed. Now, you could have triggered a new CI run like just after the three, four minutes once the task failed. And this is exactly what we do. What we do. Like we want to reduce that wasted time. And so we integrated our NX console extension with NX Cloud, meaning if something fails, you get a notification that immediately grabs your attention. You can click on it, can view it, jump to the log, fig figure out what's going on and just go fix it, push up an RPR. Now, at the same time, we developed our MCP integration. And so we were like, wait a sec, like we could actually just ship that information to an LLM interaction. And so now we added a new button to that notification that says, help me fix this CI run. And so if you click that, we will trigger an LLM interaction, which is kicking off, it analyzes your workspace, it understands there is a tool from the NX MCP that allows it to get more information about failed CI runs. And so once you confirm that, it triggers that interaction over the NX MCP tool, which will call NX Cloud and grab information about the failed CI runs. It will feed it back to the LLM, which can then obviously go and check your local Git history, know which files changed in this PR, and just go ahead and fix your code base. Update the broken code. And once that happens, you can go full circle and update your GitHub PR again and push another CI run. But like, apart from showing this at a high level of how things work, let me show you in practice how this looks like. So to show you how this works, I want to show you an example that actually happened last week when I worked and tested out this extension, which is I was editing one of our blog posts, which is here in the NX source code. So this is the NX repo. We also host our docs and blog posts in here. And these blog posts go through CI as well. Now I have here the NX console extension installed and I also have the MCP um, here installed and configured and it's running. So that will pick it up once uh, the changes go through. But first of all, uh, let me show you what I changed. So basically what I did here is something super simple. I just added another link on how to install NX console uh, to this blog post here that we have at the very end. It's a blog post that we've written last week about an exit AI by Victor Safkin, our CTO and co-founder, um, like why they things work so nicely together. So if you haven't read it, definitely check it out. But that's not the point of the video here right now. Uh, or I rather want to show you something of uh, what happens here on CI. So I have already a branch. Let me add this. Let me just commit this. And let's create a new PR. Okay, let me open my PRs. So we can see this one here. We see the add link to NX console. And if you scroll down here, we will see the NX Cloud integration kick in. So if you click here, we'll be able to jump over to the actual pipeline. 
So the basic goal of having a nice console running locally is that you can continue working on stuff while the pipeline is running. So no one expects you to sit there and look at it. And this is exactly what happens because I have NX console here in my VS Code editor. And you can see here there's the NX Cloud panel alongside all the other stuff that NX console gives you, which here monitors that specific run behind the scenes. And so once something happens, either it succeeds or fails, I will be notified within the editor here. And so if you go back to NX Cloud, we can see now the run is happening. So you can see now one task here fails. And once I go back to my editor, I will get this notification directly within NX console, in this case, VS Code or cursor. Now, if I click on here and say, help me fix this error, we are writing directly this to the chat window. And now Copilot is trying to figure out what is going on here. And so here I get a notification that Copilot is trying to run the MCP server from NX. So I can just continue here where it's getting the information from the CIP details, which is basically our CI run, where it now tries to figure out what actually failed. You can see how here it gets the different the information of the run and the actual build that failed. And if I continue here, it now garners the information from the failure. And now it's trying to figure out what, what happens. It looks at the Git, at the local Git history, defines the change in this PR specifically. And now it goes and looks into the actual details. And so as you can see here, it was able to properly fix it. And this is happening because it ran that MCP tool that connects to our Annex Cloud run and gets all the inside of the actual failure run. And so if you, if you scroll in here, you can see it knows the execution ID and task ID that has been run on the cloud. It gets the error. And based on that error, it then tries to figure out and understands, oh, well, the issue is because there's this full domain included in the blog post and it should just be a relative domain. And so obviously it can then leverage Git to understand what files changed, go look into those files and understand why well, it's in this file. So you can just go ahead and fix it for me. And so with that, I can just go and commit this again and push up a new change to my PR and kind of close the cycle here, right? So basically we started from a local development in our ID, which is VS Code here. We pushed up a PR, GitHub triggered the GitHub actions, the NS Cloud picks it up and runs it on NS Cloud as fast as possible, applying distribution. And NS Cloud has all the information basically if something fails, because it knows all the individual tasks. Since this is a monorepo, but there's like hundreds of them running. And if you go in here, for instance, it understands exactly the different tasks that has been run. So in this case, NX Dev build and the actual output. And that in turn is being passed to the NX console extension running in, ID, in your ID, in VS Code in this case. And so it picks it up and can then invoke the MCB tool that gets additional information from the cloud run that failed. And so based on that, it can then fix it locally. So we connect literally the local environment with your CI running and feed that information back to an LLM, which obviously has now knowledge about the CI that failed. And it obviously has also knowledge of the local workspace where you're currently working on. And so based on that information, it is able to help you reason about what is going on. And it's not just like one of those stupid explain this CI error, but it actually helps you fix it. Cool, so if you liked what you just saw, step one, subscribe to the YouTube channel because we keep pushing out new stuff every week. Step two, go to nx.dev slash docs to install NX console or just go to the VS Code marketplace and install it over there and test it out. Let us know if you find things that are broken, things that should be improved because we keep iterating really fast on this integration. And our goal is mainly to provide some real value because we strongly believe that we have the information about your workspace already. And in a monorepo, there's a lot of information. And so LLMs can really nicely provide you an additional benefit when it comes to productivity if those two things are nicely integrated and integrated in a correct way. So I'm definitely excited and I hope I see you in the next video.